So we've got a question here, we've got an email. Uh, I'm 21 year old vegan triathlete and you're one of the influencers to follow that path. Thank you. I recently saw a Twitter post and Chris Froome made his breakfast. What do you think about it? Have a great day. So we've got a picture here, Chris Froome. Uh, I'm not sure if trolling or not. Uh, this is a few days after I rode on the back of Chris Froome and the guys in Adelaide, if you saw that video, where I was out training and we're banging out some watts. So we, up here we have some whey protein isolate. We have some, uh, yeah, the, your cool dairy thing. We have a couple of eggs and a bit of avocado. A bit of pepper on there. It looks like a little bit of caffeine or something over there. And Chris changes his diet a lot. And I, I've got to say, first thing though, uh, meeting Chris briefly, he he has a more of a, a very friendly vibe compared to a lot of uh, pro athletes. So for someone of Chris's uh, status as a professional athlete, he is very down to earth and approachable. So I'll, I'll give that before I write off his Twitter post. And that's good to see. A lot of people's ego, especially road cyclists, man, it's, it's, I mean, it's fucking crazy. So Chris is a down to earth guy in real life. Now let's critique his diet. Um, it, there's obviously a lot of people are going to be confused with this. A lot of a lot of noobs are going to see this and they're going to have no carbs for breakfast and they're going to fucking bonk so hard. Now, people who don't know what bonking means, it's not sexual. It's bonking means when you run out of muscle glycogen and you literally are struggling to hold 100 watts or 50 watts, 60 watts. I've seen people struggle to hold when they're bonking, all right? So when I was out with Chris Froome, and it got steep. I was doing 500 watts to keep up. And I'm leaner. I'm lighter than Chris Froome. All right? So I was doing 500 watts. They're doing more than that. All right? Um, yes, I was on the bamboo bike. And it's heavier. But I'm lighter, leaner than Chris Froome at the moment. Um, I would say to Chris Froome, if he wants to lose weight, don't eat this shit. I mean, this is obviously prescribed by, what's the nutritionist name? Team Sky, I think Nigel Mitchell or someone. And I'm sure he's a nice guy, but he's overweight. And I'm just, I've got this OCD thing about nutritionists who are overweight and they're prescribing weight loss advice to athletes where watts per kilo matters. So why would a nutritionist recommend to Chris Froome to eat like a bodybuilder when the goal is seven watts per kilo for 30 minutes? Why would your nutritionist recommend, like it's just, it doesn't make any sense. We've got anabolic foods here. We've got the whey protein. We've got these things that gain weight. And gaining weight as a cyclist, as your professional, is never good. It doesn't increase performance. We want to we want to be like like a praying mantis. And Chris Froome, he, he's getting misled, in my opinion, on this like what the what the fuck is this? What nutritionist in their right mind? This, is, this reminds me of Cycling Australia. I don't have a copy here, but there's this Cycling Australia magazine, Bicycling Australia, which is a great magazine. I've read it for 20 years. Odd. But they've got this nutritionist in there called Susie Burrell. And I did a TV show with Susie back in 2007. And she's fucking fat. My mum's fat. I've got nothing wrong with fat people, but if you're fucking fat after 10 years of prescribing your diet, something's fucking wrong with your advice. Because you can't, it doesn't even fucking work for you. If it doesn't fucking work for you, how the fuck's going to work for a professional athlete? You're fucking tripping. So Susie Burrell is writing in Cycling Australia, Boston Australia, uh, cut your carbs, more fats and protein. Yeah, if you want to be fat and fucking pudgy like Susie or Nigel, are these, are these sincere but sincerely wrong people who have no fucking idea. And they're giving advice to professional athletes or amateur riders. And no wonder we see so many professional cyclists battling with their weight. Uh, it's, it's fucking crazy because you have these... Sincere but sincerely wrong nutritionists who don't really give a fuck about their own health. Otherwise, if they did, they'd be on McDougal or Bernard, Dr. Medard's uh, system program, carbon the fuck up. But these nutritionists, they don't give a fuck about their own health and they're eating shit. And then they, they go, well, I don't want to look like a clown, so I'm going to tell my athletes to eat shit as well. So that makes me feel so better. So if you're a professional athlete, you can be really fucking careful whose advice you take. And if your nutritionist is fat and out of shape and running on caffeine all day, just to fucking stand up straight and verbalize content of nonsense then i would sincerely question their advice so that's my critique of uh, chris Froome's breakfast there obviously he's carving the fuck up chris is from kenya and he um, my, my advice to chris uh is to avoid trolling like this because a lot of people will look at what you're doing and just assume that's all you eat for breakfast when we know it's not um because your performance you can't hold 500 watts eating that for breakfast 
and people will assume, oh, you're cutting carbs to dinner. Like, there's assumptions. So I think as a, I think Chris means well, but he doesn't understand the impact social media has and young kids watching your stuff and they're going to think, oh, I'm just going to have a little bit for breakfast, no carbs, and they're just going to be flailing. Uh, it can cause accidents as well. It can cause crashes. Most of my big crashes happened when I was undercarbed. Just can't pay attention, boom, especially in 24-hour mountain bike races. So be very careful, kids. Eat your carbs, have your carbs for breakfast, have your carbs for lunch, have your carbs for dinner. If you're overweight, cut your protein, cut your fat right down. Um, and there you go. That's how it is. So carbon the fuck up. The best foods for weight loss, the best foods performance. The Kenyan marathoners, man. Corn, rice, sugar, potatoes, and fucking bananas. They're the best foods for fucking weight loss, the best foods for performance, and the world's fastest athletes are living on corn, rice, sugar, bananas, potatoes. Add a bit of parsnip as well if you want. But you'll find that corn, sugar, bananas, rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes are the best you can get, period. And those nutritionists who disagree with me, that's okay. You don't have to agree with me, but you're still fucking wrong.